Hello, hello, I'm the official narrator. My job is to look through the first page of Google, review the nicknames provided by the internet, and then give my recommendations at the end. Today, we're looking at Buneary and Lopany. Probably, again, another reason people are furries. If there's one thing I'm going to look forward to when this series is over, it's going to be never having to read this guy's posts ever again. So, combat is fucking stupid. Bunny girl is fucking stupid without even trying. Rabbit is halfway okay. Like, I can understand that as a play on words. That's not, like, a terrible idea, but maybe if it was, like, a fighting type, which, I mean, sure, it's Mega Evolution is, I suppose, but Mega Evolutions are dead because Game Freak hates you, so, uh... And then Mrs. Kicks, which is also fucking stupid and trashed here. Hot Coco's fine with me. Food-based nicknames, not technically food. Same concept. <laughs> hot chocolate. It also kind of gives me the same vibes of, like, hot stuff. Kind of like with Ninetales. So, I like that idea. I'm actually super okay with it. I would totally use it if I could find or think of somebody else that I think it might fit with. Thumper, I probably should have seen coming a mile away, but I didn't think about it, and I mean, yeah, it works, it's just, I don't know, it technically belongs to a Steelix and Kalos. I don't know, I don't really have anything good or bad to say about it, I can't really justify a reason why it couldn't work, because it's like, it could, it's just, I feel like it would be better on something that is more foot-based, which it's like, okay, that's Score Bunny, but then that's lost when it evolves, I don't know. It's it's your choice. It's whatever. I both like and hate Playboy. I like it because that's clever. I like the idea of the Playboy bunny, and that's a cool idea. I hate it because it's Lopany, and everybody is sexually attracted to this thing, which makes this nickname very creepy when attached to it. However, like, I don't know who else I would... Like, I'm honestly thinking about it, and I think rabbits kind of have this idea of, like... You could make some cool rabbit-based nicknames, but there's not enough rabbit-based Pokemon that I think would fit it. And Playboy is one where it's like, I would totally use it, but your options are like Azumarill, Cinderace, Diggersby, and Lopany. There might be more, but those are the first four that comes to mind. Azumarill, I feel like, is the worst rabbit-looking one because it's just weird-looking, so it's just that it's disqualified like that. And then Diggersby is disgusting. Like, that thing's creepy and I don't like it. Which gets, just kind of leaves, like, Cinderace and Lopany for your two choices there. I was trying to think of the other um, human-based nicknames that would be associated with the rabbit. Lola Bunny, Jessica Rabbit, Jessica and Lola, I'm not going to accept his nicknames because they're just the names of fucking any other person. We get it, it's the name of the rabbit, but guess what? That name of the rabbit is not the best idea for a Pokemon-based nickname. It's just... Jessica. Who the fuck's Jessica? I'm not gonna lie, people are probably gonna get it, but I still don't care. I dated a Jessica. This one actually tripped me up and I started to think my entire life was a lie. It's not Fru Fru, it's Foo Foo. And it's spelled Foo Foo, not the way I had spelled it. So I was close, I technically had the spelling wrong, but it is Foo Foo, not Fru Fru. Also, shoutouts to this guy for, I'm not gonna lie, I just think the idea of this as, like, a nickname or username is kind of badass. <laughs> like, I don't know who this guy is, but I like him for that. I believe there's also, like, a football player, English football, spreadsheet's empty, by the way, um, who also goes by the name of Super Mario. Like, that's cool to me. I like those guys just for their nicknames and no other reasons. Easter, should have seen that coming, honestly. That one's totally fine, too. I get it. They really need to make... Oh my god, just... Why am I smarter than Game Freak? Do you know how cool of an idea it would be to have Pokemon literally based around holidays? Like, what if there was a rabbit Pokemon that could literally use Egg Bomb? That would be fucking cool. I mean, we sort of have a little bit of that with, like... Gorgeist, maybe? You could argue that. And I guess Obama Snow is probably as close as you're going to get to with Christmas trees. Why the fuck he didn't mega evolve and get covered in lights is beyond my comprehension, but like, those are close, not quite the same, I guess. Pokemon Go took more initiative and made Stantler Rudolph, like... It's hard being smarter than a bunch of... <laughs> than the richest company on the planet. I saw this one in the preview when clicking up the link, so I was looking for it. Cottontail I'm fine with as the idea of Peter Cottontail. Firstly, you're calling it Cottontail, you're not calling it Peter. Who the fuck is Peter? 
you see how the problem gets avoided by calling it Cottontail. And then, like, I don't even remember. I'm sure there's some sort of stupid cartoon. I know I've seen, like, Flopsy before. I don't know. Something about that is ingrained in my brain and says, yes, that exists. I don't care about it as a nickname, but I'm assuming that's where he's going for it with. The thing we're talking about, though, is Peter Cottontail. Oh, so I guess it's, I should acknowledge, since we talked about Lola Bunny, Bugs Bunny is going to be disqualified, too. Because, I mean, yes, everyone's going to get it. Bugs Bunny, Jessica Rabbit, Lola Bunny. Obviously, enough people are going to get it, because enough people keep fucking saying it. But that still doesn't make it a good idea for a Pokemon nickname. There's a lot of fictional cartoon bunnies. I see Babs and Buster down there. I feel like that's on the same wavelength as Bugs, Lola, Jessica. Babs and Buster are less of human names, though. So that's like... I don't know. I, yeah. Ultimately, I think anyone's going to get any of these. But the thing I wanted to talk about before I saw that was cinnamon because food-based nicknames are totally fine. Same wavelength as hot cocoa. I personally like hot cocoa more than cinnamon, but I understand it. I guess I didn't consider this when I was busy, like, bitching, was that if you're going to use Bugs, Babs, or Lola, maybe putting Bunny at the end of it, I mean, it separates it a little bit. Because, like, by itself, it's just any other name. I really hate that. I don't have a Facebook fuck off. But when you put Bugs Bunny, firstly, like again, it's just re-emphasizing the point. But it's also kind of the same as like, if you named your Pokemon Full Will Smith instead of just Will. It gives it more of an identity, I guess. I was going to show my age a bit here. And I remember even explaining to people my own age, and they didn't get it as well. Tybo was a fitness thing. And I always thought it was kind of weird that its Mega Evolution looked like it was wearing, like, fucking yoga pants. So, I'm kind of cool with the idea of Taibo as a nickname. Again, it comes down to Mega Evolution is dead. But also, I don't know, you could use Taibo for something else. Some other fighting type or whatever. I don't know, just the idea was kind of funny to me and at least worth acknowledging. And something we haven't seen before. Alright, we've reached the bottom, we've clicked on everything, I think we have a good amount of solutions, which again blows my mind why the fuck the spreadsheet is empty. I guess they just couldn't feel asked. Uh, I think what's interesting about this is the fact that this is the complete opposite of what Azumar was. A lot of these nicknames, like, they're based on rabbits, right? But you didn't see them for Azumarill. When we did Azumarill, it was just Pika Blue, and that was it. There was nothing else. So some of these you could maybe consider using for Azumarill, but again, I think Azumarill's weird-ass design kind of lends itself away from the rabbit-based nicknames, which is probably why no one thought of it. But the ones worth highlighting, I do like Playboy. I like it a lot, but I sincerely hate how many times I had to look through this and see the words, nothing sexual, don't be inappropriate, like, that should say something. You guys have a problem. Stop it. Hot chocolate I liked. Hot cocoa. Easter is good. Again, a little Easter you could throw onto any rabbit you want. It'll work fine. Cottontail, that one's fine. And ones that I thought of myself, my original plan for Lil Bunny was actually just going to be Mips, the rabbit from Mario 64. And then I changed my mind. and was like, you know what? Nesquik. The Nesquik Rabbit. I like that one better. They're both brown. I think it works. The only other option for brown rabbit is Diggersby. And again, Diggersby is disgusting. I do not want to think about that thing when it comes to chocolate milk. Lopunny, on the other hand, looks better and I think could kind of work because it's like, it's cute. So, there you go. Mips, on the other hand, I'm not sure who I want to give that to. You know what? Mips would probably be perfect for shiny Azumarill because that's at least yellow. Now I gotta go find fucking shiny breed or some shit. But those are my ideas. Feel free to suggest whatever ideas you have on... Oh yeah, Thumper was a very popular choice, by the way. Feel free to submit whatever ideas you have on your own, whatever you came up with, whatever you thought was good, and then be supportive of your fellow commenters who are also submitting their ideas by giving them the thumbs up if you think their nickname is good and you think other people should see as well. And for the love of fucking God, stop sexualizing Lopany, please and thank you.